Sorry to drop in uninvited. It's okay, we were hoping someone would open a window. It was getting stuffy in here. So, this is the lair of the dragonfly. How did you... No, no, no. I'm not here to fight you. I've got thousands of other people I plan to kill. This little visit is just to show you who'll get hurt if you get in my way. Never! <laughs> Empire City was badly injured. How was she injured? Badly. What about the dragonfly? All I can tell you is this. He didn't save anyone tonight. Doctor, how is she? I'm afraid your aunt's taking a turn for the worse. She can't speak, she can't walk, she has no control over her bowels. That's, that's awful. I know. I went ahead and set up a MySpace page for her under crazy shit machine. She already has 40 friends. Wait a minute, that's somebody else's aunt. Your aunt has no problem with her bowels. Oh, thank God. Because she's dead. Truly sorry, Rick, but there is a silver lining. Your uncle came out of his coma this morning. He did? Yes, but you, you mustn't tell him about your aunt just yet. He's in a delicate mental state. The slightest bit of bad news could send him spiraling right back into a coma. I understand. Mr. Adams, you have a visitor. Is it Lucille? No, sir, it's not your dead wife. It's your nephew, Rick. Remember, no bad news. Now, sir, here you go. This is my bill. You did surgery on me? Uh, yes, sir. We confused you with one of our sex change patients, but don't worry, we didn't remove your penis. We did cut your testicles off, but, well, uh, since your wife's dead, you won't be needing them anyway. You just want to keep his spirits up. He'll land on his feet in no time. We are gathered today to say goodbye to Lucille Adams. Goodbye! And now, the eulogy. It's tragic to think this is the last time that I can look upon my wife's face. God! Lucille! How, how could you take her from me? I can't live without her! Ah! Lucille! Lucille! I'm sorry, there's been a terrible mistake. This is your wife. Ah! She is this man's wife. Give me five minutes. You're one lucky guy. Now, where's Lucille? Ah, Lucille. Uh. I do have this coupon for a cremation. I'm so sorry for your loss. What is it? I know I said some things, but now more than ever, I realize we can never be together. I don't believe you. You love me, Rick. I know you do. Jill, trust me. I'm telling you this for your own good. I, I don't love you. You're no longer in my five. <laughs>